So in this session, we will investigate chapter number five. We will talk about host objects, browsers, and the DOM. So what's the meaning of DOM? DOM is the abbreviation of Document Object Model. Document Object Model. Yes, and. So in the midterm, this is, is the last one, from chapter 1 to chapter 5. Um, I will send you a study guide normally in, in the next uh, week. And in, in this week, uh, in this study guide, I will uh, uh, indicate all the details about the midterm. So, uh, welcome. So the DOM is the abbreviation of Document Object Model. is an API that allows programs to interact with HTML or XML documents. So here it will be an interaction. Interaction. interaction with HTML or XML document. So DOM uh, give us the possibility of this interaction. So in a typical browsers, the JavaScript version of the API is provided by, via the document host object. So we will use this object, document. Also, the W3C recommendations define standard DOM. And there are several other browser host objects are informal and standard, like alert, prompt, and many others are covered in this chapter. So keep in the mind that DOM is the abbreviation of document object model and DOM uh, uh, allows programs to interact with HTML documents. It is clear. Any questions? OK. DOM introduction. This is, is an example. And in this example, we will use DOM to create a rollover effect. So what's the meaning of this effect? That means here the image changes when cursor moves, moves over. So when the cursor moves on the image, this image will be changed, OK? It is clear, the example. Yes, like some links. So in, in CSS, for example, we use uh, A with, we will change the colors of the CSS when the cursor moves over this link. So here, we will change all the image when the cursor moves over this image. It is clear? So to create this effect, we need how many images? Two. Very good. So this is, is the first one. And this is, is the second, so two images. So in this example, we will see together how we can create this effect using DOM. So this is, is the code of the rollover example. So in this code, we use a JavaScript 
uh, file. So what is the name of this JavaScript file? What is the name? Yes, very good. This is, is the name of the JavaScript file. Rollover.js so here we use script type equal text JavaScript src equal rollover.js. That means the JavaScript code will be created in a, an external G JavaScript file, and the name of this JavaScript file is rollover.js. It is clear. Good. After that here, in the IMG tag, so we use IMG tag to an HTML. IMG tag is used to insert an image very good in an HTML document. So in this tag, this is, is the begin of the tag EMG. This is, is the end. So in this tag, we have many attributes like, can you give me an example of an attribute? An, ex an example of an attribute like, yes, the height with the SRC. SRC also is an example. Age, no. So, not age. Alt, yes. So this is is SRC Alt ha, with. Also he, <coughs> here, sorry. We use also on mouth over this one and on mouse out like src alt with etc in the same tag emg we use on mouse over and on mouse out okay so in on mouse out and in mouse over we make calls to javascript show function so, show is a function here, a JavaScript function. How many arguments contains this uh, function? How many arguments? Two. The first one is the string indicating the ID of the image. And the second one is a string uh, uh, that indicates the SRC or the name of the file, of the image file. Okay? So, where we can find this function? Okay. So, in the EMG tag, we specify two other attributes on mouse over and on mouse out. And these attributes are used to specify an event. An event. So on mouse over we will call uh, a JavaScript function show. On mouse out also we will call the same function show. So the function show contains two parts or two arguments. The first one indicates uh, the first one indicates the ID of the tag. The second part indicates the name of the file. So show this function. We will find this function where we, we can find this function show. The function show. Yes, in JavaScript, but where?
So here in my document I have um, show it is not a predefined function. It is not a JavaScript predefined function. So show is our proper function. We will define this function. So sh we will find show in this file. No, in this file. Not on mouse over. So here when I import rollover.gs and after that I will call show so show is a function and this function have to be defined in rollover.gs it is not a predefined function it is clear Okay, so let's begin with the first argument of show. So the first argument of show in, in the first call and in the second call, it is the same, is img1. And img1 represents the ID of the tag img. So notice that ID of the image is the first argument of to show. Okay? After that, this is, is our function. So this is, is the file rollover.gs. And this function show contains two arguments. The first one is the element ID, the second one is the URL. After that I will write var element equal window dot document dot get element by ID element ID. So element here represents a selected element from our document. So we will select an element from our document and this selection it will be by ID. So I will search the element in my HTML document with ID equal element ID. It is clear or not? After that, I will modify the attribute src with the URL. So, let's talk about get element by ID. So, get element by ID is a dumb method. Dumb method. And this method return an object. So in our example, we have HTML document, our HTML document, and this is, is a DOM, and in the DOM there is document object, and in this document object we have get element by ID, a method. So when I write window dot document dot get element by ID and this ID is img1, I will search in my HTML document an, a, an element with uh, the same ID, ID equal img1. And in this case, I will select this element. This is, is the selected element. So, window.document.getElement uh, by ID returns instance of element representing HTML element with given ID. Any questions? Okay.
So some properties of element instance correspond to attributes of HTML element. For example, here there is SRC is the attribute of this element. So to modify this attribute, uh, please again about what this part. Okay, so for this part, I will explain get element by ID with an example. Okay, let's suppose that I have this example. I have an HTML document like this with a body, with a paragraph. This is, is the first paragraph. This is, is the second paragraph. This is, is an IMG with the SRC equal one dot GPG. Etc. So in the first paragraph, I will specify ID equal X. And the second one, I will specify another ID, ID equal Y. And the third uh, tag, I will specify ID equal Z. Okay, so when I write in my JavaScript document, this is, is an HTML document. So in JavaScript document, this is, is my JavaScript document. When I write window, dot document dot get element element by id I will repeat so in JavaScript when I write document well, window dot document dot get element by ID. After that here, yes, yes, yes. So this is document is a, a host object and after that we can uh, invocate get element by ID. So here, if I specify, for example, Y here, ID equal Y. So in this case, this, uh, this instruction return an element, and this element will be this one. All this element will be selected. It is clear. 
It is clear now. No problem. Okay. After that, if I specify not Y but Z, so I write window dot document dot get element by ID, and here I not write. Uh, I will write Z, not Y. In this case, I will obtain what? My element will be. Yes, very good. All this element, the image. It is clear. So after that, I can write in JavaScript element that set attribute. I will modify the attribute src by 2.gpg. In this case, this instruction, this instruction will modify 1.gpg by 2.gpg. So I can modify the attribute of the selected element. It is clear. Very good. OK. So after that, when I write element dot set attribute src URL, this method is inherited by element instances for setting value of an attribute. So the effect src attribute of HTML element with the specified element ID is changed to specified URL. After that, the, the image src changed to cfp22.png when mouse is over and cfp2.png when mouse lives. It is clear this first example, mouse over or rollover. Okay, so what's the meaning of m on mouse over? So what's the meaning of on mouse over and on mouse out? On mouse over and on mouse out Yes, but uh, in general, not for this example, not for this example. So on mouse over and on mouse out, uh, out is an event, entrancing event. So an event is an occurrence of something potentially interesting to a script. For example, mouse over or mouse out events. So when we talk about HTML entrance event attribute, this attribute is used to specify a script to be called when an event occurs. For example, on mouse over. So the name of this attribute is on followed by event name. This is, is the name of the event. So when we will talk about HTML entrance event attribute, we will write on after that the name of the event. On mouse over, on mouse out, etc. It is clear.
Any questions? So there are many uh, intrinsic events like onload, on unload, on click, on double click, on mouse down, on mouse up, on mouse over, on mouse out, on focus, on blur, on key press, on key down, on key up, on submit, on reset, on select, on change. So many, many. Uh, events and for each event we can specify an action to in, in, in our example. So this is, is an example and in this example we can find on load, on in load, on submit, on reset, on key press, on select, on click, etc. Let's go to this example. We will see this example so I will share my desktop so this is, is uh, can you see my desktop Okay, so this is, is an example of uh, some uh, uh, entrance and HTML entrance and events. So when I click in my example, I will uh, find an alert, a pop-up with uh, the text body loaded. I will click OK. This is, is the source of this example. So for example here in the form on submit window dot alert submitting. So on submit that means here when I click on submit submit button got focus. When I click here click me button click it. When I click in reset resetting. So here I I write on here for my button window dot alert button clicked window dot alert on focus submit button got focus and here for reset I don't specify anything for reset so this is that means submit button got focus. So for text, for example, when I write a text, text field got character. When I select a text, text selected. So we can find all this example here from the text, for example, here, for example, input type equal text. On key press, we will find text field got character. On select, we will find text selected, etc. Any questions about this example? Okay. Modifying element style. So also we can modify element style. For example, we can change the background color of an element containing cursor. So this is, is an example to modify an element, uh, the, uh, the style of an element. Okay? So in my example here, I want to mod modify this element. So this is, is uh, 
all this is a table. All this is a table. Okay? And this one represents what? So, TD, very good. TD. So, I want to modify this TD, this style, this, the TD style. I will write uh, this code. So, in this code, I write on mouse over highlight this on mouse out low light this so what's the meaning of highlight this low light this highlight is what highlight is a uh, not not color no no not Yes, but here in programming, highlight represent what? An attribute? Not an attribute, but what? Not event. Not event. This is, is the event. On mouse over is the event. not style so this is is an event on mouse over on mouse out is an HTML event and highlight like show show is a function also highlight is a function low light is a function okay and in this function we uh, how many arguments Highlight contains one argument, and low light also contains one argument. Here we, we write this. So this is a reference to the element td. This is a reference to the element td. It is clear. So in highlight, so on mouse over, like rollover, the style needs to be modified both when entering and ex exiting the element. This reference to element instance representing the TD element. This is, is my function highlight element. So element, I write element dot style dot background equal silver so here it is the manner to modify the element style to modify an element style I write the selected element dot style dot background color equal silver it is clear Are you here? Okay. After that, so element reference to element instance, style, all element instances have a style property with an object value. Background color is the CSS style properties of the corresponding HTML element. So, there are some rules for forming style property names from names of CSS style properties. So, if the CSS property name contains no hyphens, then the style object property name is the, the same. For example, color, color. Otherwise, all hyphens are re removed 
and the letter that immediately followed hyphens are capitalized. For example, here in CSS, for background color, we will write background minus color. In JavaScript, we will write background after that the C here will be capitalized and we will remove the hyphen. It is clear. Any questions? Okay, let's get an example. This, the minus, this one. The minus. Okay. This is, is an example. Let's suppose that we have an HTML document like this. HTML P I D equal Jeddah. We have a paragraph and P. Have your body, etc. So I want to modify the color and the background color of this paragraph using DOM JavaScript. So the first step is to select this element, the P paragraph. So to select the P paragraph, I will write what? I want to select this paragraph. So the first step, I want to select, select the paragraph. I will write var, so I will modify the, not in, with CSS, but in JavaScript, okay? So I will write var element equal window dot document dot get element by id and here I write what here I will write yes, Jeddah. So here I will write Jeddah. Okay, after that I have my element. I want to modify the color of this element. So, to, I want to modify the color. I will write element dot style dot color equal 
red for example. I want to modify the background color. Modify the background color. And this I will write element dot style but the background color in CSS I write background minus color equal green for example but this is, is not is wrong I have to write background not minus this is, is an error I have to write background color in the same word with capital C background color this is, is an error I have to write background with a capital C color equal red equal green it is clear so if the style contains minus I will merge the two parts with in the same part with a capital background capital color but if the style contain only one word like color so in this case the name will be the same so color is in CSS in JavaScript will be also color but background minus color will be background color with capital C So there is another manner to modify the style. So we can write element dot style dot background color equals silver. This is, is the first manner. In this case I will use the JavaScript name of the style like this. The second manner is to write element dot style dot set property. I will use uh, method set a property in this case the background color will be the CSS property background minus color after that value gray it is clear no so to modify the style there are two manners in JavaScript I can write element dot style after that dot property and in this case I have to write background with capital C color equal gray it's clear this is, is the first manner the second manner is equivalent to write this part I can write element dot style dot set property in this case when we I use this method I will specify not background color like this but I will write a background dot color so here I use the JavaScript style and in here when I use set property I will use the CSS uh, the CSS style it is clear so empty string are important for the third one so here when I use set property I will specify the CSS property name the CSS property value and for this third argument 
I can write an empty string or important. If I want that this property must be important, I will write important. Also, to obtain uh, a specified CSS property value, I can write if element dot style dot background color with JavaScript or with method get property in this case background color will be CSS. So get the property, return the property, set the property to modify this property. Any questions? Recall that HTML document element elements form a tree structure. So DOM allows scripts to access and modify the document tree. So using uh, a DOM, I can modify this tree. I can add some objects, some tags. I can uh, delete some tags, etc. So there are many types of node in the DOM document tree representing elements text, comments, etc. So every object in the DOM document tree has properties and methods defined by the node host object. So here, for example, we have uh, the node type, node name, parent, child nodes, preview sibling, next sibling, attributes, etc. Uh, there are many methods for node instance, for example, has attributes, return boolean indicating whether or not this node has attribute, has child nodes, append the child to add, or insert before, remove child, re replace child, etc. So there are many, uh, many, many uh, um, methods for nodes. And I can um, modify the tree of an HTML document using this node. So I can, for example, modify the attribute. I will write element dot set attribute ID, etc. Or element dot ID equal. I can modify also the CSS properties. I can write element dot set attribute class. After that, I modify the class of this element, or I can write element dot class name equal, and I will modify this class of this element, etc. So this is is an example of of uh, uh, an example when I use. So this is, is an example. When I click on this button, I will modify this uh, this element. Uh, sorry, this HTML document. The same example, but with another manner. So I will stop here.